Okay, my next video um, relates to just number families. You need to label each number, whether it's real or imaginary, then whether it's rational or irrational, then if it's an integer or a non-integer, and here's how you do that. Real or imaginary, if you need the I, it's imaginary. If you don't, it's real. So I would not need an I because it's a square root, but the number's positive, so that's real. Now, there's a negative here, but I don't have the square root of the negative, so it's real. Pi. Pi is a real number. It's 3.14, and then change. Now, okay, now I have a square root with a negative, so I put the I, and that's imaginary. Okay, 6, I'd need no I there. That's real. Set no I there, that's real. I'd have no I on that right there, that's real. And then I see an I right there, so that's got to be imaginary. Now the ones that are imaginary, you're done with. You don't go back to those squares, okay? You don't, the next thing I'm going to do only relates to the real numbers. So the real numbers, i got to check if they're rational or irrational. Now if you're wondering what does that mean... If I take the square root of like 8, you know, I know that's not on here. That number never ends. It goes on forever, okay? Never ends, never terminates, okay? That's irrational. If a number does end and it doesn't go on forever, then it's rational. So the square root of 11, I need to do the square root operation, and I see that that goes on forever on that calculator. There's no pattern to it. It's rat. It's irrational. Okay, that number does not go on forever. That is rational. Pi. Well, let's punch in pi on our calculator and see what it says. Um, that goes on forever. The teachers in classes just have you write 3.14 so you can make calculations with it, but pi is an irrational number. Okay, that's a, I don't go. I don't look at that. That does not go on forever. That's rational. That does not go on forever. That's rational. Any fraction is rational. Even any fraction is automatically rational, and the imaginaries I don't label either. Now, integer or non-integer. Okay. Now, you're wondering maybe what's an integer. Don't write this. Just this is me. Integers are numbers where I would put if I'm making a number line. Okay? Any fractions, any decimals are not integers. Okay? Those are non-integers. Any numbers that are not fractions or decimals are integers. These are all your integers here. And they go forever in the positive and forever in the negative. Okay, so the square root of 11, that's not an integer, okay? So non-integer, because that's a decimal. Any irrational number is a non-integer. Negative 4, that's not a decimal. It's not a fraction. That is an integer. Any irrational number is a non-integer. I didn't put pi on that number line. That's imaginary. Six, I would put on number line. It's not a decimal. It's not a fraction, so it is an integer. Decimals are non-integers. Fractions are non-integers. And the imaginaries, again, you don't go label those because imaginaries are just, they're not rational or irrational. They're imaginary numbers. They're also not integers or non-integers, okay? Next one, real or imaginary? Well, they're negatives there, but it's not a square root, so it's real, okay? Any fraction is a real number. Remember, imaginary is all about the I. I got an I there, so that's imaginary. Okay, I got a square root, but a square root of a negative, I put I's there, so that's imaginary. I would need no I here, that's real. I would need no I here, that's real. 
Here I have a square root, but the number's not negative, so that's a real number. Okay, so the two imaginary ones, I don't come back to those. Now, irrational or not, well, that number doesn't go on forever, so it's rational. Any fraction is rational. That number does not go on forever. It is rational. That number does not go on forever. It is rational. Square root of 13. Well, I would need to actually find that on my calculator. And that does go on forever. It never ends. So that is irrational. Okay, now check those numbers if they're integers or not. That's not a decimal or a fraction, so it is an integer. Any fraction is a non-integer. Remember, not, integers are all about number line. Decimals are non-integers. That's an integer. I would, 8 would be on a number line if I kept going. Now remember, it's not 13. It's the square root of 13. That is not an integer. And any irrational number will be a non-integer. Okay? All right, you got a set of numbers to do that with. Please do it and go from there.